Welcome back guys to Tabletop Salt. I'm Ross. And I'm Rich. And today we're going to be playing a 40k battle report. I'm going to be using Chaos. And I'm going to be using Chaos. Ooh. Mm. So what mission are we playing today? Today we're playing Purge the Alien. You, you all know what that means, so a kill point for killing an enemy unit or making them fall back and run away. Sure. And all that jazz. And of course the usual caveats of Slay the Warlord and um, like First, First Blood. You know how it works. Cool. Let's have a look at the armies. Our first Chaos Space Marine uh, force for the day uh, is going to be very Nurgle orientated. It's going to go Death Guards, uh, as I do tend to love going. I have a Demon Prince. He has the Demon of Nurgle. He's got wings, he's got power armor, he's mastery level 3, he's got spell familiar, and he's got the Black Mace. Uh, every time I've fielded him, he's always died before he's done anything, so hopefully, going to change that today. I've also included Typhus. I have one unit of Chaos Cultists, there's 35 of them, and then another unit of 31. I've got three Chaos Bikers, they've got the Mark of Nurgle, uh, they're veterans because it's free. Uh, I've got two Melty Guns and a Power Fist. We've also got a Chaos Spawn, he's got a Mark of Nurgle, another Chaos Spawn with a Mark of Nurgle. And then I have a Forge Fiend and two Mauler Fiends. That brings me to my 1500 points of Death Guard orientated Chaos Space Marines. And now for the second Chaos list today, we have our Corn Fed World Eaters. Um, I will be using the rules from the new um, Trait Legions book. Um, I decided to go all in. This might only be my second time using Chaos, but hey. Um, so leading them today, we have Karn the Betrayer and all his splendour out front there. Um, for my second HQ choice, I have a Demon of Corn, and uh, he has uh, armor, power armor, wings, and he's taken the Gore Father today. Um, for my troops choices, I have two units of Marines, all ten men strong, and they are each in a Rhino with a Havoc launcher. No special weapons on them, just boat guns and boat pistols and all that jazz. Um, lastly, in my troops choice, I have the Corn Berserkers. That's uh, 10 of them, all with um, axes of corn, and they'll be led by a champion again with just a boat pistol and an axe. Not, not, not an axe of corn, it's just a chain axe. Um, for my uh, heavy support, I have three individual units of obliterators. Um, I want to get as much coverage out of them as possible. And finally, a Helldrake, because no Chaos list, in my opinion, is finished without a Helldrake. Thanks, man. No worries. Um, so with that, guys, let's go uh, take a look at deployment. So I won the row off for uh, deployment. Um, Ross did get to choose sides, so I was left, left with this side. So as you can see, I have an obliterator up there, advantage of line sight. My rhino's in position to charge up the board. Demon Prince in position to charge up the board. Um, Karn and his posse of Karn Berserkers, which you should see Ross's face right now, he's really scared. Uh, just in the middle, ready to charge up. Another obliterator, ready to take position. Rhino and obliterator. Pretty simple. So um, let's see how Ross has counter deployed. And here is the Chaos Death Guard deployment. I have a whole bunch of zombies, and yes they are zombies, in the middle, surrounding Typhus. Uh, on this flank I have three bikers, uh, that's the ones with melt guns and the power fist. We have our forge fiends, our demon prince, and our spawns over here. And then on this flank... We have our two Mauler Fiends hiding behind cover because at the moment Rich is going first. Oh yeah. Cool, so with that we're going to roll for night fighting. Would you like to do the honours? Please, not night fighting. Uh, Good stuff. No night fighting, but I'm going to roll for season initiative, which we do not get. Yes! So let's move on to... Uh, World Eaters. World Eaters. Turn one. Trace Allegiance, so good we bought it twice. <laughs> so, anyway guys, um, basically I'm just going to move my force up to get in best position, it's all about charging, get the obliterators in a better position for some shooting, and um, just close the distance between them. Mm. I don't have a huge amount of shooting, you've got almost none, so um, let's get smashing. 
very simple movement phase there for the uh, world eaters. Um, Demon Prince just moved on up in a position to take care of this flank because Whoa. those bikes scare me and so does that Demon Prince. Um, Black Raider didn't move. Rhino just came straight up the gauntlet. Funnily enough, straight up the gauntlet there for Berserk Karn and his Berserkers, although he's not leading the charge, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this obliterator just moved on up to get in position for some shoots. Rhino moved on up, just um, cruising speed because I want to fire off my Havoc launchers. Yep. And the Raider didn't move. So um, let's just get straight into the World Eater's shooting phase. We're going to start up with this obliterator over here, and he's going to fire his plasma cannon over at these bikes. Mm. So um, firstly, let's see if he gets hot. Well, firstly, I'm going to drink, but oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> so he doesn't get hot. Are you, want, are you wanting to drink? Yeah, I'll yeah. drink. I painfully will. I really don't want to, but... Okay, let's see what happens. We'll put it right over this guy here to try and get all of them. Yeah, yeah, sure. Can we looking for a direct hit? And it's going to go quite far. Three That's inches. Three inches. Just me. Sorry, sorry for the dice going everywhere, guys. Yeah. It's going to go three inches that way, that way. So I'll get one. Oh, I wish I didn't think now. Uh, cool. So strength seven against up a six. It'll be three to wins. <laughs> well wounded. Yeah, that's wound. Uh, so I'm a four up cover save, uh, which I make. One of five plus. I wish I made you drink. Yeah, you did. Good man. Right into the rhino over here, we're going to fire his Havoc launcher straight into these cultists and we're yep. going to be quasting it yep. quite what I said and yep. we decided it's going to be about five guys there. Yeah, so. yeah. Cool. Um, looking to scatter or not scatter. Yeah, and that's direct hit. That'll do for me. Yep, nice. So we'll get, have you got five dice? I've got five dice there. So that's strength five against your toughness three yep. because they are zombies and therefore not going to get their... I don't get the mark and go. There's a lot of controversy over that. But that's, should, what we're, but that's, that's what we're thinking. Yep. So looking for twos to win. That's all of them. With a lot of threes. All of them. Uh, AP5, so AP5, so you feel the thing. Do I get any sort of cover save? I would probably Don't say so. no. You're coming right through the gap, yep. Cool, so I do get feel no pain. Uh, 5 plus. Uh, you save 2. So you save 2, so that's 3 zombies down. Now, all my uh, Chaos Space Marines inside have got uh, their bolt guns as well. Yep. So it'll be 2 shots through the fire points. Look for 3s. That's yes. 2 hits. And then looking for four threes, two wins. and that's two more wins. Okay, okay, again, no cover saves, so five up, feel no pain. And Big one fun. of them did feel the pain. The um, invisible Havoc launcher on this Rhino. Oh, <laughs> that going, old trick. That old trick is going to fire over at these uh, zombies over here. Yeah, so yeah, again. I want to work out about five. About five. Okay, so there it is again. That'd be nice. Uh, is twin linked, if you want to reroll that. It's going, going back two inches. Going back two inches. I think that'll be alright actually. Two inches back. He'll bring it to three, maybe four. Four? Uh, well, I would probably say three. three okay, three. I'll, I'll reroll that. Yeah, go for it. Scatter amazingly. Uh, oh, bang on. Bang on. So there you go. Good call. Five dice. Two two wins. That's all of them? That's all of them. Oh my goodness. Lovely. Uh, we're going to go with five up for no pain. And again, three die. And rinse and repeat, we're going to fire the boat guns out of this rhino as well. Yep, sure. Needing threes, and then needing threes is one. Yep, five up, feel no pain. Oh, well uh, he decided not to feel the pain. We're going to go into this obliterator here. Going to fire his Laz cannon Ooh. at Mauler Fiend number blue. Yep, number blue. Number blue. And uh, looking for th threes. That's a hit. Yep. Now it's a three to glance and a four to pen. That is oh a super my pen. Goodness, so Would it's you uh, kindly fail that save. Yeah, I think it's a it's a three up, four up. Uh, 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 either yeah, way, I fail. Matter. Oh no. So um, let's see what happens to him. Yeah, yeah. It's AP two, looking for six. Ah. Oh. Uh, it's one that is uh, crew shaking uh, or crew stunned, but I think I do ignore that as I'm a demon. But I've not got any ranged weapons anyway. So it's all good. Hop point down. So yeah, with demonic possession, I ignore crew shaking, crew stunned on a two plus. Don't think it affects me because I have no ranged weapons, but and fine. I do ignore it. So yeah, we're just going to go roll straight into the last obliterator who just has a line of sight on Morphine number blue. Oh, you're going for blue again? I'm going for blue again. I'm going to kill blue. We're looking for a threes. Oh, Justin, no more. Yeah, I'm looking for a four, ideally, to get a penetrating hit. 
Oh, that well. won't be happening. That will be happening. Um, I'm just going to do... That's it for shooting, yeah. So it's just some quick run moves and then that'll be my turn. So, um... Yeah, my run move was terrible. <laughs> it doesn't look like you've moved. No, I moved a whole inch. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, um... So, with it, obviously, Karn needs to start rowing ones and killing his own people for being useless. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, yeah. Um, but that's it, guys, for um, World Eaters turn one. Um, let's go see what um, Typhus's bunch can do in the turn. So, quite a lackluster World Eaters turn one. Uh, you did a hull point and killed a couple of cultists. Cool times! Yay! Yay. Uh, so what my plan is, I have no idea. I really <laughs> actually want to take you out in range, but I have like nothing in ranged, which is pretty bad. Uh, yeah, so I'm either going to move forward or not move forward at all, and uh, we'll see how we end up. So yeah, I decided to move a few things, mainly the Plague Zombies and Typhus back. Um, Karn is uh, not a fun guy to play to play in close combat, so I just want to buy myself one turn, which would be nice. However, I do have a target in mind on this flank, and uh, you're saying Gorefather is unwieldy, which I'm hoping to throw so much at him. I, I didn't read that when I read the description. Yeah, I'm going to throw so much at him that yeah, I hopefully bring him down, which may be nice because I get a lot of things that might strike first, which is quite cool. And then on our other flank, two molar fiends moving up this way, which is nice. So yeah, uh, let's move on to the chaos psychic phase. No. Before I forget to do, which I commonly do, it will not die on our f on our molar fiends. Number blue. Number blue, but uh, he might be dying. Generating our warp charges now. At the moment, I am looking at five uh, for Typhus and my Doom three, uh, level three Doom Prince with an additional six. Ooh, so well, that's good for me and terrible for me all at the same time. Yeah, let's let's see how that one plays out. I have eleven warp charges now. Historically, I'm not very good at the psychic phase, so let's see how this goes. We're going to begin with Typhus. He is going to cast a uh, Gift of Contagion. Onto your demon prince. No, no, you're not. You'll fail miserably. Uh, well, no, well, let's hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> so it's warp charge one. I'm going to fortify four dice at it because you do get six dice and you deny on five. So uh, four pluses. So I've got two warp charge. Uh, that's how, enough to do it. Uh, that's enough to do it. So I just need one, uh, which I'd like to try and deny. I've got six dice to do so. You can do this several times. I'm going to do it again with the demon prince. Mm. Whoa. I'll throw three dice at it. You're gonna throw two dice, right? Okay, you need two five ups. Uh, mm, which just is one. not enough. Just the one. Cool, so this has a random ability. Uh, one, two, something, three, four, five, six, does something else. Let's find out, and I will tell you. And it's a one, so you do get minus one attack. Okay. But you also get shrouded. Ooh. So my shooting is gonna be a little bit less effective against you because you'll just jink yep. and you get two up cover save. Happy days. Darn. Gonna go with our Demon Prince now. He's gonna cast again Gift of Contagion onto your Demon Prince. Again, what charge one? So, uh, ooh, I get it with a mighty three. Yeah, not gonna do it. You can have it. Yeah, I'm gonna have it. Cool, love it. And uh, again, you are minus one attack again, and uh, lots, of shrouded. lots of shrouded. Yay! And to end our psychic phase, I'm going to attempt to cast Curse of Leper onto your Demon Prince. So it's the Maledictation, Maledictation version, so it'll be minus one strength and minus one toughness. I do need Warp Charge too though, uh, and this comes from the Demon Prince. I kinda Coward, don't... Coward of Demon Prince hiding behind his magic. Yeah, I kind of don't want to cast this, but... Uh, and I don't cast it. Yay! Going for the shooting phase now, I'm going to target your Demon Prince with my... Two melted guns on the snap firing bikes, and then I'll obviously fire my bolter as well. Unfortunately, didn't manage to lower your toughness dents to kill you here, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, for all intents and purposes, are you going to jink? Yes. Yeah, so I'll give you a two up this turn because I decided to give you shouted. Thank you. Cool, so let's go for it. Sixes to hit. <laughs> well. Wow. Uh, I'll do my rap. I'll do a. Uh... Oh man. Uh, I'll do rapid fire bolt gun. I believe I've got relentless in them, so I can do that and charge. Uh, and they are twin links. 
with one hit. Now you are toughs fives, fives to win. And that was Oh, it. yep. That so was awesome. Not to win. Uh, would have been a world and difficult gift of contagion. Bring it, bro. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to go with my two Hades Otho Cannons onto your Demon Prince because I want to try and soften them up as much as possible. So yeah, uh, I'm going. To, I'm going to activate Forge so I can reroll my wounds. I am needing force to hit, and that was perfectly average. Huh. With uh, your toughness five, so two to wound you rerolling. And there's good for one. rerolls. Good for rerolls, but. Average. <laughs> so you get uh, three saves, they're going to be two up, two up, so you're shrouded. See if you get loads of two ups here, I'm going to be annoyed. Follow them. Uh, yeah, well, you need them all. So nice. Thank you. So here comes a big assault phase. Straight at that Demon Prince. Yep, I'm going to go for it. Uh, I hope to cause enough damage to hopefully stop you. Going to start with my bikes. I need an uh, obligatory two inch. Yep. So we're all fine. This spawn's going to need three inch. Does get to reroll. He's in. he's in. Demon Prince is needing 4 inch. He's in. So he's in. This spawn actually needs 8 inches, but I do get to reroll. Which I will reroll. And he'll be joining the fun. This is not good. Start up, I'm going to do my hammer rafts on you from the bikes. So 3, three attacks. I'm needing 5 to win you. That'll be 2 wins. Really? Yep. We're playing wow. it that way. That's how it's going. Um, I've got power armor, so yep. And he takes nothing. Nice. He saves, saves them both. Right, that's where it gets fun. So uh, I, I, initially, I had to do an answer challenge, and I'm going to do it with my Chaos Biker Champion, not my Demon Prince. And I grudgingly have to accept. You have to accept, which is all fun in games. Uh, I'm going to tank you next with my Demon Prince. Now he does get 5 attacks basic, plus 1 for charging. It's like stabbing someone in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, that's kind of guy I am. And Demons. I get a D6 extra attacks, but if I roll a 1 here, I, be, I lose a wound and I'm weapon skill 1. So that'll be 10 attacks from my Demon Prince. That's just horrible. Yeah. I'm just going to check a few things and then we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, okay. Uh, gonna go with my Demon Prince. He's got 10 attacks. I'm needing 4s to wind you. Uh, for a pretty nice for to a hit. Lot. Now I'm needing 3s to wind you. I'm strength 6. Your toughest 5. Uh, so it's 3s to wind. Uh, not as good, but I'll, I'll be quite accepting. So you've got 3. Demon uh, saves. 3 5 up demon saves. I need you to fail loads of these. And I fail all of them. You fail all of them, so, so you're down to one, one wound. However, you've now got to take a yes. toughness test. I'm going to say you're going to have to take one for each of them. Uh, and if you fail the toughness test, you're dead. So, Moro suffers an unsaved wound from the Black Mace. It must immediately take a toughness test. Test is failed, removal is a casualty. So I roll one six, he's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it is pair one. You can correct us if we're wrong. And he's dead. Uh, if you can correct us if he's wrong, if it's only one. But I'm thinking that is you dead. I would... I believe so. Either way, he was dead anyway that turn, even without that test, so yep. that's that done. So I, I believe... didn't even get to use him. Sounds like when I play Demon Prince. Aww. So uh, <laughs> I believe that is first blood for me. Yes. And it is also one victory point. Indeed. I'll do my consolidations, that'll be the end of my turn, and we'll see where we end up. And with that is the end of the Death Guard turn one, and I think that was a pretty good turn all round. Uh, one interesting thing we found out, I don't really like the Chaos Boon table, I'm not a big fan of it. However, I thought you only got a point if you were in a challenge, which my Demon Prince wasn't. No, it's if you kill a character. I rolled a hypothetical to see what I got. My Demon Prince has plus one attack. See you. <laughs> cool. Love Demon Princes. So with that... Uh, yeah, so do I. Oh no, I don't have one If you get to use one. <laughs> you will one game. <laughs> Uh, if you have a look, so I consolidated my guys round, Dean Prince is jumping around here, Spawn's moving forward, making a bit of a threat, Blair Rare needs to decide what he's going to do, uh, and my bike's moved back. However, at the moment, that is two victory points to the Death Guard, and I'm very close to Lanebreaker as well. Mm. So with that, let's move on to World Eaters, turn two. Just so you're aware, I'm still learning how to play Chaos. I'm trying to keep you right, I'm trying to keep you right. <laughs> yeah, At well, least you don't need to worry about how to use Demon Princes anymore. Yes. 
Do you want to do your reserve rule? For that, the Hildrick's coming in. Yes! Yeah, he is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're coming back right after movement. So this obliterator did not move. Good call. Yep. Uh, moving along, the Rhino stormed on up, passed his dangerous train check, which is good because he doesn't do it other ways. He um, disgorged his troops because he's probably going to die soon anyway. Um, corn. Corn. Um, corn. 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 And his corn berserkers <laughs> moved on up. Yep. This um, Razorback moved on up and also disgorged it's its no, Chaos no Spaceman. It's a Rhino, because yeah. I always use Razorbacks in my Spaceman. Yep. Um, this Obliterator and that Obliterator basically stayed. So he moved across, but. Yep. That's that. And of course. Oh yeah. Help me! Woo! Oh yeah. Look at that. Die! So yes. Um, with that, let's go into the uh, shooting phase. Obliterator number one is going to shoot at Spawn the Red. Cool. Sounds like a plan. And he's going to be shooting with his assault cannon. Yep. So I'm going to be looking for three steps. Oh well. That was a miss. Oh, and okay. then that will be what's your toughness? Uh, toughness six. So you're forced to win. Force toughness five. The marker no go. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Right. Well, good thing I don't actually have any armor. But I do have mark, uh, marker no go, which gives him. He doesn't have vets of the long war, so I don't think I get anything. I'm gonna have a wee check in that, but I think you've just caused two wounds. Yep, he's two wounds down. The rhino over here is gonna fire its havoc launcher into here, and that's going yeah, to be. We, we had a wee check and all stuff and one on bases, so that gives you seven guys in a direct hit. Looking for that direct hit. Uh, that's a direct that's hit. A direct hit. <laughs> so do you wanna get your seven dice out and cause some damage? Grab dice. Give me two seconds. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like you should have pre-planned this. Almost. I wasn't expecting to do so well. So, um, what was, uh, it's going to be wounding on... Uh, two two wounds, wasn't it? I will get my funeral pain. All but one. So that's six saves to make. Six saves, six, five ups. Uh, which I make two, so that is four dead. The Chaos Space Marines are now going to fire at the same unit of zombies. Yep, yep. So, ten shots. Looking for our threes. That's pretty decent. No, no bad. Only two misses. And that will be wounding on threes. So well. And that was not so brilliant. That was not so good. So there's also there's one under here. There it goes. Cool. So Beautiful. you're saying I will get cover this time though. Yeah, okay. Five that. up cover, yeah, yeah. Five up cover. Uh, which nicely done. Nicely done. If you remove those three while well, I do my fear of pain. Which I don't make any of them, but that's still only two dead. We're going to start with these marines over here. Yep. And they're going to funnel the shots through the gap into here. Cool. So I'm um, looking again for trees. Yep. And that will be That's six. Good, right? Yeah, okay. And then looking for threes again. <laughs> wow. And that was so cool. threes. Uh, I'm going to argue five up C. Oh, I'll C. give you that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Uh, so one, and then funeral pains, pains or what should I say one. one, so just one guy down. Uh -huh. The rhino here is going to fire his havoc launcher into these zombies here, yep. and we worked it out as being... It's just going to get just three, gonna get three. You, know, you can put anyone based on that one, so... So... Yep. Perfect. That's direct you know, that. You're not needing these twin lengths. No. Actually, I've got their twin lengths. Yeah. Yep. And looking for two. <laughs> yes, that's, that's, Very that's solid three wins. Uh, no cover saves, so it'll be five up funeral pain. Uh, yeah, there's of one which in there. Only one has been made, so that'll be two down as well. The uh, Bale Flamer is going to flame now, and uh, yeah. Corn is pleased with the sacrifice. We measured it up, and it was about here. It was going to be eight guys in total. Yeah, you've got to love that. You know, Torrent, Jumpstick, APC. Yep. A lot of fun. So, looking for twos to cremate. Uh, and that and is seven. seven dead. Oh, my zombies. My second obliterator is going to shoot uh, more fiend number blue. Number blue. Number blue. Looking for a fee to hit with his multi melter. Never mind. Ah. Okay, well, let's just rapidly move on and do this this last obliterator here. He's going sure. to do exactly the same thing. You're going to be getting a cover save, though. Uh, it'll be the same as my demon safe. So, looking for a three. You're... Wow. Two twos. That's, that's... Well, I actually got one the first time. Did I get... Well, oh, 
Two fails. Two fails. <laughs> no. And no multi melter next turn. And no multi melter next turn. You get closer, I can use my um, combi my, my, my um, melt gun. Metal guns. Two nice. Yes. Yep. Um, but that's it for shooting. I'm just going to do a quick run move, and then that'll be it. The one good thing that happened this turn was Karn and his Karn Berserkers massive surge up the table with yeah. a six inch run move. Loving it. Are you scared? Yeah, sort of, sort of. Not that I don't have plans, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that draws to a close um, World Eater's turn two. Okay then, so, you know, we've got an interesting opportunity on this one. Uh, it's clear that, no matter what I do, my zombies are either going to get charged or I will be do or, you know, I can do the charging back. So, there's a big ball net coming here. I've got to make my decision if I want my zombies to go forwards. Uh, Rich has decided to lovingly come out the rhinos with all his uh, marines, and we have spawns about the place as well. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting turn. I'm not quite decided what I'm going to do, but I'm going to move and make a decision. Yeah, so I'm going to charge a blur air with my Demon Prince of Doom, uh, which is all going to be fun. You know, he jumped up, saying hi. And uh, he passed his uh, dangerous terrain. Oh, he did. Out. Absolutely passed his dangerous terrain, so none of that my minor injury for him. We've then got our bikers who've moved rounds, they're no longer drinking, so that rhino's pretty much gone. Mm -hmm. But we've got two spawns just in case we need to do anything, but we've also got these uh, uh, world eater marines. We've got our four twenties came round, he's doing something, he was out of range of the flying Heldrake, but uh, we'll get him at some point. I've moved Typhus and his zombie slightly away and presented Richard with a lovingly good <laughs> target of decaying flesh yeah decaying flesh they're gonna go down so you know we'll accept that and then Muller fiends want to go for another cheeky wee kill point as well i was considering actually going for the obliterators but i'll leave it a turn and then hunt them down later so that's the way we go now to see if our uh Muller fiends gonna it will not die he may still die so he's still at two when, uh, two hot points left. So with that, uh, I'm going to move into my psychic phase. So I'm going to roll to see how many war charges I get. Currently on five, but I don't even know if I want to cast any any uh, abilities this turn. Oh, uh, oh, that is four. Mm. I'll count that out. See if I can see if I'm up for anything, and then uh, see what the effects are. Going to start with our Demon Prince over here. He is going to gift contagion, one of the longest psych uh, longest range psychic abilities in the game. 40 inches onto car, and I'm going to use 4 dice in this. Don't miscast. And it's not a miscast, but it is 3 passes. And this will do that random ability again. And it's not dis and dispelled. It's not stopped, so I'm kind of hoping for a 1 or 2 here, so like I bring you down to 0 attacks for your combs That is minus one, minus 1 toughness and minus 1 strength. That's fine. That's acceptable. Okay, and I'll then do the same thing from Typhus onto these. Okay. Uh, just normal Chaos Space Marines. Uh, now it is passed with one, and I think you've used up all your yeah, dice. I have indeed. So, uh, an RT6, five. That'll be again. again minus one strength and minus one toughness. Not so good for them. No, that's not so good. So, with that, I'm going to go into my shooting phase. So I'm going to start with my two Hades auto cannons straight down into Karn's unit. I'm going to soften them up a wee bit. Now we can't quite remember if I actually rolled to see if I suffered anything for activating Forge last turn. Don't think you Don't did. Don't think you did. And it's it Mars. <laughs> yep. uh, so I'm going to, for all friends sake, I'm just going to say he's down to two hull points. But don't worry, I'll it won't die him later. He'll pass, I swear. Uh -huh. <laughs> so anyway, I can activate Forge this turn. So I am forced to hit, which is <laughs> mediocre three hits. Uh, twos to wounds, and that is two saves. Cheeky little three up, please. Yep. Uh, oh, one Ooh, dies. So I do get one. Next up, going for our Nurgle bikers. They're going to fire their two melter guns straight to that rhino. Hopefully, explode it into oblivion, which would be lovely. So I'm needing threes to hit. 
really <laughs> wow that was that was Sorry. embarrassing <laughs> that's twice you've done that now with a big roll yeah so we're going to go into the assault phase. Uh, I'm going to roll two dice for Steam Prince to see if he's actually in. Uh, oh, oh, look he's, at that! Wow. Yeah. Going to go with these bikers next. Again, that's roughly about a three inch charge. Don't double one it again. They're, they're, in. Again. they're in. Spawn is. Uh, I've got power fist and everything. I'm going to charge into the rhino because I really just want to get that point. Uh, yep. In. The next one. spawn. Totally in. in. And then the Mauler fiends over on this side. They want rid of this rhino. In. And even if it's three inch, you still in. Wait, wait. So I'm going to move everything in, do some damage, get some dice. It's going to be cool. It's going to go with our Dean Prince against the Sublary. Should be pretty much decided. Should be comfortable. There's one thing that might, might cause a few problems, and that is if I roll a one here. Kindly roll one, sir. That will be three extra attacks. So he actually has five basic, plus one for charging, plus one for his. Uh, yep, Chaos Boon Table. Chaos Boon Table plus your attacks will bring me back up to ten attacks. Ugh. Yep, threes to hit. So that was two. Eight hits, yeah, so two misses. And then it will be uh, threes to wind, your toughest four. Yep. So threes to wounds. Uh, please make that many five up in <laughs> If I make that many five up in bold saves, I'll, I, I get this a crime. Yeah. And, and he uh, was dead bad. bad times. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, if you're four up there, that would be yeah, that amazing. Be, that would have been something. Unfortunately, he doesn't get to attack back because it's power fists. So. Going for this Rhino next uh, with my Nurgle Bikers. Uh, unfortunately, my Hammer Wrath can't hurt the sides because that's the side I charged. So I'll begin with the Bikers hitting the rear. Uh, I'm going to go with two Bikers first, so they're needing threes to hit, uh, which is eh, no bad. And then I'm needing sixes to hull points. That'll be zero hull points for them. Yay! So next one will be the Chaos Spawns, which are really random. I'm going to activate whatever their mutation is. We'll go for this guy first, mutation one. There's uh, mutation one. Was mutation one, which is not the one I wanted, but... Uh, and oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, well, that makes it real easy. So that one gives them a four up armor save. All right. Yay! I get 2d6 uh, for my attack characteristic. And that'll be four attacks each, and they will be getting five attacks apiece. That'll give me t 10 attacks, which is not too bad. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus one for charging and all that jazz. Now I'm shooting five, so we are looking at threes to hit. Very good. Which was very good. And fives to glance, sixes to pen. If we get a roll like that, I'd be delighted. And it's got. I can't explode you. Uh, well, it's, it's just, yeah, it's but, gone, uh, that's gone. a double one. Again, what's we doing double ones today? Yeah, that's, that's a bit. But it didn't matter because that rhino is gone. Right. Cool, so we've now got our Mauler Fiends who have got weird stuff. So they've got two attacks basic, plus one for charging, plus one for two power fists, and then we'll go into Magma Cars, but I've got to actually hit first with these ones. So we'll go with Red here. Mauler Fiend Red, he is going to go for threes to hit. So we have two hits. Uh, and then I'm strength 10, so rear armor 10, I pen you, and see if I explode you, no. I don't, we are down to hull points, I'll then go with the other Mauler Fiends, blue, uh, who only hits once. And that's all you need though. And that's all he needs, because that's pen, and, pen. and he's gone, and he's, and he's gone. And he's gone, and that's it. So that rhino is also I'll Just flip him over as well. That felt very... Obligatory. Yeah, that was. That's so, not didn't even go for the magma cars there. No. Uh, and yeah, with that, uh, my assault phase is done. I was considering charging, charging the zombies into Karn, but I think I'd rather have Rich have a turn charging me, all that stuff. So yeah, with that, that's the end of my turn. Let's have a look at World Eaters, turn three. So Ross so far has been the only one doing any charging. It's time to turn that around. Oh. I'm just gonna move everyone up and get into a fight. Yep. Nice and easy. So as you can see here, my World Eater Marines have just moved through the wreckage. Yep. <laughs> um, they're gonna be launching for those guys. Um, next up, obviously, the... Um, oh, the Heldrake. The Heldrake is right there. Ready for Ooh. some pain. Yep. Uh, and the Berserkers. Yep. 
and then the Marines. I totally now regret not just charging because now you're going to get more bullpups. Pretty pistols. sure there's people screaming at you at this stage. Yeah, um, yeah. And yeah. then obviously he's moved down here to get the arc on his back, yeah, and that, then he's moved along to guarantee it. Yeah, that was another mistake. Yeah. Uh, so uh -oh. that's it for World Eater's movement. Let's go into World Eater's shooting, which has actually been relatively decent. <laughs> We're going to start out with these marines over here. They're going to fire their bolt pistols into the bikes just to soften them up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Looking for a three step. <laughs> wow. That was dreadful. That was terrible. And uh, that would be good again, though. Yeah, because uh, I'm six actually tossing a six, yep. so six is to wounds. And not a thing! Nope. Let's ignore that. Ever happened. We're going to start the shooting from the Berserkers here with Karn. He's need, need, needing, he's got plasma pistol, so he needs a two up to show me a one. No, he's fine, so yep. he hits, and that's strength, um, yeah. Seven, two, two. to go. <laughs> wow. Of course. Yeah. That's, that was because of my, my overconfidence. Okay, bolt pistols from the rest of the guys needing threes. And again, weak. And then. Uh, only threes to wins. And that is. Three saves. Three saves, uh, no cover saves, so three five ups, uh, and I will be making none of them. Three more die. The second squad of marines are going to fire their pistols into the mob of zombies. Cool. Needing uh, threes. That was everywhere, guys, that's cocked. So one miss, so mm, nine nice. shots going through. Just wounds, get that again. And I basically did. Oh wow. <laughs> many so that's, many that's saves. Many, 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 two, so that's eight saves to make. Many five up you know pins. <laughs> many to save. Uh, of which I saved yeah. loads. Four of them. Uh, nice. So one two, so yeah. Four I. Four I. So this obliterate obliterator here is going to be firing his twin light uh, meltagum into uh -oh. the back of your um, Mauler Fiend. Yeah, so I need that, yeah. <laughs> a three to hit. So hit. Yeah. And then it will be uh, twos to glance. Two's to glance. Pen. And so, super pen. Super pen, I'm going to take a five up demon save. Boom, <gasps> there it is. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I bet you that, that can, you, <sighs> there's so much hate in this room at the moment, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Do you do your quick yeah. other one? He's going to fire his last cannon into him. Uh, so, looking for a three. <laughs> that's <sighs> that's going to cost you next time. <laughs> the Heldrake is going to use his Bale Flamer. Mm. Measured out. He's actually going to get nine hits over there. Whoa. So, um, two's up the fry zombie. Uh, that is uh, eight. That's eight dead. Oh my goodness. Lovely. Into the assault phase, my marines here are going to charge into your bikes. Would you like to overwatch? Uh, I would love to. Uh, going to be in with two melt guns, sixes to hit. Twin link bolt gun, uh, bolt gun from the champion. Twin linked. None. Never mind. Now I'm going through the wreckage of the rhinos. So it will be minus two to my charge, so yes. it's going to be a three. Double one. Oh, yes. Mm. He's in. They're in. So they're all, all right. in. They're all in. Um. Well, let's quickly move on over here. I need to charge with my Berserkers. Yep, Karn, so what are you looking at? About three again. Give you a three, and, and they're all loving all it. All in. And these Marines are going to run in as well. Yeah. So quickly yep. measure that, because it's a bit more. That's going to be a five inch charge. I hope he fails. <gasps> oh. Do by an inch. Oh, ah, well, it's fine. So because we're all chaos, we need to do our challenge. Let's do the challenge first. I have to accept. Oh, yes. So my, um, because of Rage, Furious Charge, which will, the Furious Charge will ignore the minus one strength sure. from, from the um, Malediction spell that you cast. Yep. Um, I'm looking for Force to hit. Wow. Ooh. And then it's Six sixes to, to wound. And I get nothing. Ooh, that's going to be a health challenge. I'll do that after because I've got Power Fist, so I'll definitely get yep. you. So count out your dice for your other guys and we'll see how that goes. So now into the actual attack. I get 36 attacks here. Yep. So this is the first 20. Looking for a force. Which is absolutely terrible. Yeah, that was pretty poor. This is my normal curse of my game. Yeah. I can't go anything higher than yeah. two. 
And um six is to win. Six is to win. And there's one. One kill, cool, right? One okay. so far. Now I have another sixteen attacks to make. Let's see how we do here. Again, looking for fours. There we go. And again, I'm going to need sixes. I'm not going to get them. Well, you've got one so far. Can you add any more? And the answer is yes. Yeah, so just one. So just two, two wins. To uh, two three ups, uh, of which I do fail one, but I also get five up funeral pain, which uh, I make. So that'll be my attacks back. I'm going to calculate these and see what happens. So after the terrible luck oh, of corn, that was. Corn, that was um, um, so sad. Yeah. So cool. I've calculated my attacks. Uh, I'm going to get four basic attacks with troops. I replace the bolt guns in the front uh, to give my metal guns, so I still have my bolt pistol and close combat to weapon. Threes to hit, uh, fours to hit, of which two hit. And then I am needing fours to wound with none. So I then get two attacks from my power fist, uh, of which both fail. Oh, wait. Oh. So we're staying in combat. Yeah, that's it. Alrighty, so next up is going to be Karn. He's calling out a challenge because he has to. My Chaos Cult of Zombie has to accept. Because the zombies know how to accept challenges? Sure! Yeah! Right, guys. Basically, because of his weapon, because of Furious Charge, but because of your um, psychic phase, yep. I will be attacking at strength six with six attacks. So. Cool. Um, looking I think for. Seven attacks, actually. That's it, six. Four, two combat weapons, two for charge. So you're seven attacks, you've got seven dice in your hands. Do I can't really, right, I just thought, thought it was wrong in my head. Wow, it's been one of those days, guys. Okay, um, so I'm looking for... I'm going to be winning on twos. We're hitting on twos. Uh, you get to reroll those ones in your first round of combat. Yep, do because of hatred. Hatreds. So that's Adam. Yep. Now, it's twos to wound. Ones will hit my own guys. No, like, not in this. Was that? Oh, that's Only to hit. to hit. Two's to kill. Two's to kill. That be six dead. Don't be sick. And the closest guy is dead as well. The corn berserkers are now going to go berserk because that's what they do. <laughs> so it's going to be 37 attacks in total. I'm going to be rolling these in batches because we just don't have those dice at the moment. So I am looking for. Weapon skill 5 against your weapon. Oh, yeah, you're handling 3s. Look for three, yes. uh -oh. which is huh, very nice. So a that lot. Is also got our dice there that hit the five up. Where about See, that? yeah, just there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's a lot. So of that's hits. thirteen hits so far. Yeah. Uh oh. And then for the last of them, oops, thirteen so far. Another. Not as good this time. Not as time. good this time. We're going to count these up and we'll get back. Sure. So out of that, I got 28 attacks. Oh. These will be winding on threes. Yep. And you have three. I'm not going to count them. I'm just going to Yeah, because I've got to make a lot of five up through no pains. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I managed to minus one strength there. Yeah. You've got that many saves to make, buddy. Right. Oh. Uh, Oh, there get you them go. all in my hands, get them all in my hands. Like, how many fags did I get? Not enough. Not enough, nowhere near enough. Because uh, there's only about six guys left, so that will be a yeah, wipe. Yeah, that's a wipe, you know. Yeah, yeah, victory point. <laughs> After that glorious combat, my um, berserkers felt a bit like zombies and just shambled forward an inch. Yeah, you go one inch, that was uh, for consolidation, that was harsh. Yeah, a little bit. But uh, that draws us to a close for uh, World Leaders turn three. Yep. You're all about my lines, which is quite scary. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at Death Guard. Tantra. Nearly forgot about Karn's little um, roll on the... Uh, Chaos Spoon Table. That's the one, Chaos Spoon Table. So um, two dice. So the first one is... Your black Black will be the um, tens, white will be the units. Yeah. So it's going to be <gasps> 11. Uh, thankfully, that is better luck next time, not spawned him. Oh, wow, nice. First ever roll on the Chaos Boon table and I get 11. Uh, yeah, they got the worst result. Well, I might have spawned. But okay. okay, that's that.
Yeah, Death Guard, uh, turn three. Now I'm still leading quite a bit in points, but Rich is now threatening so much in my line, which is quite terrifying. Yeah, I've got to be smart with my turn. If I do quite well here, this is going to be devastating. So let's have a look at my weapon face. Cool. So, uh, Typhus and his zombies have decided after watching them rip part one squads, they are not up for that, so they are get out of dodge. Uh, we've got our Forge Fiend over here, who has moved a wee bit away as well. My Demon Prince has decided to, you know, clean this up, you know, help these boys out. They survived a bunch of attacks, but they need to do the damage back. Spawns are going to help them as well. This will all be devastating. Yep. Uh, one of my other fiends going after this obliterator, it was pretty much in his face. However, somehow I managed to balance a Mauler Fiend on that. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, it was. Uh, that one, I'm quite impressed by that one. So that'll be another Mauler Fiend saying hi to Blue Rare. I'm going to do my one to die, so Blue uh, still might die. He's really not wanting to recover any hill points. And then our one over here uh, will recover hill oh, points. Yeah. So he's back up to full. So let's go into the Death Guard Psychic phase. So starting my psychic phase, uh, I've got five dice at the moment, I'm going to roll a dice, see how many warp charges I get. Uh, that'll Ooh. be ten dice, I've been getting loads of warp charges. Yeah. So cool, I will gather up my warp charges, see how what I want to cast. Starting up, I'm going to go with Typhus, he's going to cast Gift of Contagion on these guys here, going to try and lower their strength and toughness by horrific amounts and all that stuff. And uh, all that jazz. Yeah. So, one dice, get it with two. Oh. You've got five dice. What you wanna do? What you gonna do? Go, 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 to go. You gonna let go? Cool. Love it. Uh, D3, uh, two. That's actually a result I really wanted on Carnage unit because that'll be minus one strength and you can't run. I will then cast that very same spell again. Uh, again on the same unit from the Demon Prince, uh, which I get with uh, two dice. I'm going to throw three at it. I you can't let them be too reduced. Weak. Yeah, yeah. So, um, if I get for this. five, because of Adamantium will. And no. No. So, we'll find out what that ability is. D3 again. Uh, that'll be one. minus one attack and shrouded. That's not good at all. That's, yeah, that's not helpful for you. And I'll use Nursery Dice, won't use four, because we'll need Warp Charge one. I'm going to cast Nurple's Rock, which is Nova, from uh, the Dean Prince. And uh, it just needs one. Uh, now he does have a spell familiar, so I can yep. re-roll that. And that doesn't matter. <laughs> so, uh, Should have used my other dice. <laughs> yeah, that, that didn't go too well, but either way they have got minus one attack and, and shrouded, and they have minus one strength and cannot run. So let's move on to the shoot phase. Okay, and um, we're going to go with the Hades auto cannons from the Forge Fiends. They're going to go fire at this Heldrake because he's being a pain. Would you like to drink? Yes. Yes? And you can't fire your thing, or you're just going to fly off next going to fly off next one anyway. Cool, well. good call, good call. Uh, right, I am needing sixes to hit. Uh, never mind. Even if I was forced to hit, which I usually am, all of them missed. Should have drank. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, well. Come on, Forge Fiends. Uh, and I believe that's actually the end of my shun face as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to do a quick, quick cheeky uh, because quick. Typhus is no longer with them. I'm going to do a run move oh, yeah. uh, for them. Two inches. Oh, no, they're still in purple, so they've got to stay there. The Never mind. Yep. So I've got to stay still. That was me trying to be cheeky, but apparently not. Karn is getting too close for fun. So painful formalities here. Everything I've got is within one inch, so this is going to be quite dull. Uh, Demon Prince no is in. Spawn is in. No Spawn two no is in. <laughs> Morphine Blue is in. He actually needs like a three or four inch one at least. Uh, four inch jump yeah, up a level. Yeah, he'll be fine. Yep. Cool, so we'll move everyone in, count a bunch of attacks, see what's going on. So we're going to start this mesh of melee here. Uh, my Demon Prince will be striking first, as he has been doing quite well in style. Mm. First things first though, I'm going to roll my Demon, how many attacks I get. Uh, oh, oh my goodness. So, no. Uh, three, six, so he began with five attacks, plus one for charging, plus one for Chaos Boon Table. Uh, 
That's an R6 tax, that's a humongous amount. I'm gonna quickly check how uh, challenges work, because if I can take an R challenge, that'd be great. Okay, so my un ungod you know, my ungodly demon prince is gonna get 11 attacks here. Lovely. Uh, I am needing three to hit. Oh my goodness. If <laughs> you don't laugh. <laughs> uh, three to wounds, but it's AP2 because he's a monstrous creature. Uh, so that's not so good. Only four of them are dead from the Demon Prince. Oh well. So we're going to do the challenge first. Um, I get a whole two attacks. Yeah, because I'm minus one. Woo -woo. Yeah. So oh boy. Let's, we're looking for a force to hit. And then we're looking for sixes to wound. And nothing. I am then making a further five attacks from the rest of the unit. Yep. And that will be, again, hitting on force. Nice! So we're done. You need to get sixes. Give me some sixes. Give me three sixes and they fill them all. And I get them. Oh well! <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was unfortunate. It's just not happening. I should have shot them. I should have shot them and not charged. Going for our Chaos Bikers next. They get two attacks piece, one normally, and then they've got the combat weapon and bolt pistol. So, first hit. That's yeah, not bad. Two hits. Yay, oh, math. Maths. <laughs> Forced wins. Two wins. Oh. Three up And both. Oh, one dies. So that's one down. Uh, I'll then go on to the Chaos Spawns next, roll the random abilities. So ability one for the red guy is four, so that is 2d6. I get to choose the highest. And that one will be poison attacks for the one wound white one. Okay. So we're all for the red guy, how many attacks he gets. Two dice, choose the highest. I would definitely choose five. Oh yes. So he gets five attacks. And I'll do him separately first. And I will need... Force to hit. Uh, and that is a healthy amount of hits. I'm going to need three to wound you, but I get to reroll these as I am poisoned four up. Uh, no need for rerolls. They're all wounds. Uh oh. Um, some saves. Please, In please, fact, please. This guy isn't poisoned, so that doesn't really matter. But go ahead, do not need to reroll. And two more die. Two more die. Uh, I'll do the other one, which actually is poisoned. Uh, one dice, five attacks. That'll be six attacks because of the charge. Uh, math, math, math. Force to hit. Uh, that'll be four misses, two hits. Now, I do get to reroll these ones to wounds. Three up. Three up. With one reroll. And that'll be two wounds. Do it. Looking for threes. And another one dies. Another one dies. So there's one guy and the champion left. Yeah. So I need to kill him. Uh, I get two attacks with my champion. Yep. It's going to be four to hit. Oh. Two is to crunch. That's it. That's it. That's the unit. That's unit gone. Another victory point. <laughs> another victory point. And another roll in the Chaos Boon table. We'll get back to that though. So we're going to roll our Chaos Boon right now for the Power Fist uh, Biker. Uh, we've got that Spare Demon Prince kicking about with Rich. I will hurt you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I can accept that. Uh, black dice is going to be the 10s, white is the 1s. 42. 42. Uh, let's bring up the table. Uh, Reroll failed armor saves. That's pretty yeah. handy. I'm going to forget that probably. Probably, but yeah. But, uh, it's yeah. nice to have. Nice to have. So let's move on to the next combat. So we're going to begin with this Molar Fiend here, uh, 2 attacks basic, plus 1 for charge, and 2 power fists, brings him to 4. Uh, walkers and monstrous creatures don't suffer unwieldy. <laughs> we'll, we'll, uh, we'll talk about why that's important later on, but a couple of you have probably already seen it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we'll come back to that. Uh, I'm going to need force to hit you, uh, of which only one hits. Uh, 2 is to wound. That's a wound, you do get your 5 up interval save. I need to make this. Yeah, I do have mag magna cards after the save one. No. Oh well. That was a good show. <laughs> gonna go with Moller Fiends number 2. He's gonna do the exact same thing, rip this obliterator into oblivion. Uh, Force to hit. Uh, oh, whoa, that just tipped over. What? Up, yeah. What? See, if I'd had got all hit, I would have got two extra attacks. I only get one at this moment. Uh, choose to kill you. Please take three five ups. And Not one. He's dead. Oh well. Bloop. So, yeah, that was a great phase for me. Uh, gonna do some last minute stuff, but uh, some consolidation moves. But uh, 
yeah, three extra victory points. So yeah, I consolidated a few things here, uh, the spawns, the bikers and the imprints, got some really nice rolls and uh, just jumped about. Anticipating Karn, Karn's revenge, mm. but uh, he's still got a wee bit of... Karn! Karn! He's still got a wee bit to go uh, as we move into World Eater's turn four. So when we just did the movement phase there, the uh, Heldrake went off into ongoing reserves and Karn moved along, as did the unit of uh, Marines over here. And um, <laughs> that, that's it. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's it. it. That is it. My only shooting for this turn are my Marines here, and they're going to fire at this uninjured spawn. Unfortunately, the injured one is hiding. Cover save! Woo. Uh, so we're looking for freeze to hit. Oh wow, see if you got those sixes to oh, wounds. Oh, see, now, now I'm just going to roll all like twos and threes. Yeah, wow! That was uh, cool. Looking for the sixes now. Three sixes and he's gone. And there's only, there's three! Is there? That's a, uh, there you go, a victory point. Woo! <laughs> We have a perfectly average roll to make here. That's seven inches to get the berserkers in. So, show me some love. <gasps> oh, yes! Ooh. <laughs> this is why you chose not to shoot your bolt pistol, because that would have become an eight inch yeah, charge, that and that would have been a fail. Yeah. Right, cool, move them in, and we'll see where we are. Unfortunately, with the uh, positioning of my unit, um, only these front five guys are in and range to do some hacking and slashing. Yep. So, it's still only 20 attacks. Yep. <laughs> um, so we're hitting on threes. Uh, I rather enough, I'd like to say, both are champions, like your, your guys and your corn and Karn, and my champion are nowhere even yeah, close to, yeah. to do stuff. So, so that's um, not happening. But you still get 20 attacks. 20 attacks. Oh. Yay nice. for rage. And look for threes. Oh my goodness. That's tasty. And because of Furious Charge, their strength 5, Major Toughness 3, so I'm looking for 2s. Just to win. Just smashing grinds. And I get lots of 1s, of course I get lots of 1s. Yeah, you did get a few there, that was quite sad. You've got that many 5 um, field gains. Cool. Save them all! Um, 3, 4. 4, yeah. 5 yeah, die. 5 die. Yeah. So I did some consolidations and uh, I'm going to move stuff forward. But I got three attacks back. Great! Four set. Hey! Wow. I need that exact same roll of fives to wounds. Uh, two wounds. I fail one of these. You fail both these. Uh, uh, really? Oh, zombies! Zombies! See you and your zombies! Yeah, I know. Uh, that, was, that was hilarious. So I'll be two corn, uh, corn circles dead. Not a great deal much to say there, actually. Um, that pal's in because they're all furious. Yep. And of that really, 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 really terribly disappointing assault. <laughs> that was disappointing. But you'll get more guys next turn, but... It doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. Uh, you got a spawn, so you got a kill point. Yes, true. But you do have these guys in the open, and there is a lot of guys coming their way. So with that, let's move on to Death Guard turn four. So yeah, just, uh, that's the Death Guard turn four. I've just done my movement to get me going. So yeah, what can I say? I've decided to start moving units away from Karn because he seems to be the only thing earning points for, for Rich. Yes. So the more I can move away from him, the better, and I'll just last you. However, I do have a Mauler Fiend who is desperate to say hi to these guys, and uh, that should be a very interesting combat. It's at the moment eight points each. Uh, sorry, each eight points to me. I'll two, take eight points. Two to Richards. Uh, we both got line breaker and all that jazz. No. It's getting desperate. You've got to really make it back in a turn. However, let's move on to my psychic phase and see if I can hinder you more. Gonna roll for my warp charges if I actually need them. I only got one. Oh, fantastic. I'll uh, just take that dice from my uh, spelling. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a think if I actually want to do any of them this turn. Uh, just give me a couple of minutes. Cool, we're going to attempt our lovely Gift of Contagion back in Karn's unit. Pretty sure I can cast some Adaptation and Caught into a Combat. 
Yes. I'm going to roll and we'll find out later. <laughs> uh, and I might totally regret this. Uh, get it with one. Go one dice. Five up. Yes. Hey. I'll attempt to do the same with a... Uh, no! <laughs> three dice. And I get it. Yeah, we'll so that's it done. Find out what the ability is. Three. Ironically, what I wanted last time, but it is minus one strength, and you can't run. No, well. Not an issue. <laughs> Had a check there. Yep, my adaptations can affect units locked in combat. However, one thing I realised is that Karn also denies on a 2 plus. Good save. Yeah, it wouldn't have really had an effect in this game so much because I've not really had a chance to go yeah. after him. But, but uh, yeah. he did deny Typhus, won't be denying the Demon Prince. First up, we're going to go with our Force Fiend. He's going to fire down at these Chaos Space Marines and cause some damage. So we're needing Force to hit. Not that bad. Is not bad, not great, not bad. And then two wins. Uh, but just two wins, you do get your standard armor save though. Oh, the threes. That's not a win down. <laughs> our melt guns are out of range, we're going to go with our twin linked bolt gun from the champion. Straight down at these guys, so three step. Go like twin linked. But don't like twin linked that much. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do some run moves and then it'll be on to the assault phase. So you're my run moves, things moved about, nothing too impressive, but we're going to go straight into the assault phase and I'm going to declare a charge onto your Chaos Space Marines. You don't have anything that can damage me, nope. so I will... In fact, you can huck a crack grenade if you want. I think we'll huck a crack grenade. You know, you need six as tip. Oh well. Never mind, that's so. dignified. <laughs> uh, I will pass this unless I don't roll a double one. Uh, no, that no, definitely a hand high. crunch. Gonna go with our Mauler Fiends here, he's gonna do his attacks on the Chaos Space Marines because they can't hurt him and they're fearless so they're gonna be stuck. Uh, we are looking at Force to Hit, which will be one hit. <laughs> uh, twos to Kronk. And dead. And that's one dead. We'll just take him. So now we get to Karn. Mm. Ooh. So Ross called out a uh, challenge and, um, well, Karn dutifully accepted. Great! Okay, so I get to attack first. Yep. I will have five attacks, hitting on twos. And they all hit. Of course. And they will be winding on threes. It will be threes to wins. And that's four, four saves to make. Now I will get my funeral pain because I did minus your strength by one. So five up funeral pains. Uh, so Save three one. cultists are dead. The cult champion is dead. Smoosh. And three other cultists go down. Do you want to do your consolidates, get more attacks in, bring the pain, all that stuff? So my berserkers will now attack in, uh, after piling in, so it'll be uh, threes to hit. That's pretty good. In fact, I'm very happy with that. Only three misses. The 12 attacks went through. And I will now need a uh, force to win though, because of that maledictation. And that is four, five, six, seven, eight saves to make, Ooh. sir. I need to make what, like four or five ups? Uh, and One, that two, is not enough. Not enough, that's them dead. That would cost the unit. So, yeah, that's them gone. So, that's the end of Death Guard turn four now. Well, yeah, I think I'm now just stalling for time because I'm sort of racing ahead in points. Uh, yeah, I've held down this Chaos Space Marine unit. So all Rich has to do with his turn five now is bring on a Heldrake <laughs> and move Karn. So let's have a look at what he does for Word Bearers turn five. So the Heldrake came back in and it's um, got a very obvious target. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh, and um, Corn and his posse of berserkers have just moved them around. I think you can see where they're what they're aiming yeah. for. And these guys will just die. <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah, with like, that, let's move on to the um, world eaters. Oh boss. man, yeah, I know. Let's move on to the shooting phase. Just in case you didn't believe us, uh, they were all going to be getting hit by the template. <laughs> surprise, Woohoo! surprise. So um, I will be looking for fours. So I'm talking six. 
and it will be going straight to your um, feel, pain. feel the pain. And that's cocked. <laughs> what? So yeah, we're on that one melter gun there, five up, feel no pain. Uh, and he's gone. Yay. Okay then, so I will be firing my boat pistols. Yep. Into Typhus. Cool. Fun way enough. So looking for a uh, three set. Some little do. And then it's going to be five to wound. And you have no saves to make. Nice. What about Khan's plasma pistol? Khan's going to fire his plasma pistol, leaving it two. And he hits. And he's going to... Two to wound. Two to wound. And... Oh, that's a, that's a wound. To save to make. So I do get five up terminator save. Do get five up... Uh, Funeral pain. No, so he is down to three wounds. Yay. And we may as well just quickly roll it. It's a six inch charge to get him in. Oh, totally. Oh, look at that. Oh, we'll oh, come oh. right back with close combat. So my Berserkers and Karn have moved in. I am calling a challenge. Yeah, I have to accept it. Oh, look at that. So um, Karn will be hitting um, Typhus on twos. Ones are re-rollable, thankfully, because of hatred for charging him. That's all of them. Oh, and he will be wounding you my. on fours, and yeah. this will go right through your armour. And that is wow, dude. That's five. That was a, that was a oh my goodness. Wind. So that's five, five ups. All right, so I've got my Terminator armor, five up pinball save, uh, of which I made none. <laughs> and then I've got my five up funeral pain, of which I not enough to pass. So that will be Typhus killed by Karn. So yeah, we're still stuck with this combat though, because uh, you're fearless, you've got to stick in with me. Fearless uh, or stupid? So, <laughs> make sure both. I only get three attacks this time, so forced to hit. Uh, of which that'll be two hits. And then it'll be two to wounds. Of which one is dead. However, I can activate magna cutters on that one, uh, which will be, I think, uh, that'll be another one dead. And there we have my consolidation move. Just prepping to get around the small uh, fortune. Uh, but with that, is the end of uh, World Eaters turn uh, five. Let's go see what Ross is going to do to make me regret killing Typhus. Turn five for the uh, Death Guards here. So, unfortunately I did lose Typhus, but he wasn't my warlord in this game, uh, my Dean Prince was, so uh, no points to Rich for that one, except no. for obviously the, the standard one, but that's all hilarious. I'm basically booking it now, uh, you know, I just want to sort of run down this game now, when I know that's the coward's way to play, <laughs> but I've got 8 points to 3, I'm going to lose a Forge Fiend next turn if we go on to the next turn. However, uh, yeah, I've just done my movement phase. Rich might get one or two more kill points, but I think I should hopefully be okay. So I'm gonna go for a cheeky move here. Uh, I'm gonna say that this gun closest is Karn, and this one isn't, so I hope to try and assassinate Karn. <laughs> be nice. I know you get look up, sirs, and all that stuff, and two up arm save. So we'll go for the one that might kill Karn. Four up. Might kill Karn on one dice. Uh, two up. So do you want to make two, two up look out, sir, for Karn? Please, please. And yes. And we'll just go another guy. Do you want to take three up normal save for them? I shall. Give me a dice. You just choose whoever goes. And I've done it again. And he's totally safe. Oh, look safe. at that. I'm going to go with the other cannon here. Just, you know, obviously it's on the same unit and everything. So, oh, that's way too many dice. All of which... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so wins. It's a save. It's a save. Well, that was delightful. So Smaller Fiend's still having some fun, tearing up some guys, good times for all. Forced to hit, a bit better. Just crunk, and that'll be two guys dead again. Oh yeah, they just hit. I would take your champion. Ah, uh, the best stage. <laughs> cool, so with that being the end of my turn five, it was a bit of a lazy turn in that one, but I'm just That's gonna all the grind this down. Yep. Because uh, if I roll this and we end, we win, I win. So on a three up, we go into turn six. One, two, we call it there. Yeah. <laughs> totally going into turn six. Totally don't need that. Let's go into turn six.
World Eater's turn six movement is really simple. The um, Heldrake moved up after that injured um, spawn, and Karn's already in position for this anyway. Yeah, that's going to get you a few points in this I, I would hope so. Well, we won, unfortunately. But we anyway, um, let's go on to the shooting phase. So the Heldrake is going to fire his Bale Flamer and get both of these. So I'm looking for a four to get a victory point. I'm looking that for a four to, get, four to get a victory point. Oh. And a six to go on to the other thing. No. Oh. And that's that. All right, uh, yep, so you've got to declare that charge and all yep. that. Uh, thankfully, as a walker, I can of watch. I'm going to do that four that's closest to Karn. Uh, wow, wow. Yep, there you go. Uh, I'm definitely getting some havocs because these Forge Fiends do not like hitting. And just a general, guys, sixes to hit. Oh my goodness, oh, that would have hit right. either. That was eight misses, even at full blasted skill. What the? Um, obligatory charge. Oh, look. Oh, look, you're in. They're in. Uh, so, maybe just go for it. Sure. Uh, Karn uh, hits you on twos. Twos, yeah. Re rollable because of the hatred, oh, because of hatred, and they all hit. Now he's got mm. armor bearing on that thing, and he's uh, strength seven with furious charge. Yes. So you um, need to get five to glance. Five to glance. On two dice. Uh, there's one glance. No, yeah, that was two threes. So that's a pen. Even, yeah. So that's one pen. I'll that's take, two pens. Two pen, I'll take the pens over here. Three pens. I'll take another dice for pen. Uh, uh, that's another pen. Another six. pen. Six. Four, yeah. And another pen. Yeah. And another pen. Yeah. This is getting a bit boring, actually. <laughs> and oh, okay, glance. Glance, glance. Woo! Right. Have you got any saves? Yeah, I do. I have a five up demon save, so glance. Nailed it. I didn't really. Just nope. so we're, we're saying this accurately. And then I need to make a. Five, six. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm gone. I'm gone. Do you want to roll to see if he explodes me with all those dice? Did you? Well, that one saved, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that one saved. So, see if he explodes. It's AP2, so looking for six. Well, not looking for six. <laughs> no. He does explode. Yep. How far does he explode? It's got all of them. Would got you care them. to make that uh, four, eight? Um, have you got enough dice there? One, two, three, four, yes. five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Eight dice. Forest wound. That's a uh, four wounds. Four wounds. It's random allocation, so we'll do. Oh, never mind. We'll say one is on Karn, the rest are on the rest, because there's random allocation for yep. explosion. And well, I just rolled that. So we'll do the one for. I'll re-roll that then. So that, that'll be Karn. So that'll be one is Karn, the rest will be just on the unit. So Karn. He takes is, a wound. He takes a wound. That's the unit. One uh, dies. One dies. And we're back at this one again. Turn six of Wigatory Death Scene! Woohoo! <laughs> Forge to hit. Uh, did I hit us all? You hit one. Oh, cool. Come on, Forge Fiends and Waller Fiends. You can do a lot more than that. Two Scrunk. <laughs> oh, wow, uh, I, 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 I do get one Magma Car because if I hit and then fail to kill, I get one Magma Car. I just need twos. So that does kill the one that I did hit. Bleh. So he's gone. For my consolidation, I moved the glorious three inches. Um, so that draws an end to the uh, World Eaters turn six. You're on the victory point. Yeah, so we're now on Death Guard turn six, and uh, I won't lie, guys, I'm just trying to run down the clock now and uh, <laughs> get away from Karn because Karn is proven to be a real, real problem. Uh, he's just churning out units whenever he touches them. So I've stuck underneath the Hildrake because if we go into turn seven, it's got to go somewhere and it's not going to be able to get anything. And my bikers have moved way over into this corner. Weak. Yep, so I'm just avoiding Karn, get to turn seven call it a Death Guard victory, but we'll quickly keep going to finish this, because Karn still might get a victory point or two, mm. is uh, I'm going to do straight to my assault phase, I'm not going to do any shooting, uh, because I think I'm kind of out of range for most things. Yes, yeah? I would say so. So let's uh, go straight into assault phase and see what happens. And we're going to do this uh, Waller Fiend, who's once again, gonna, I could have done actually a few, no, uh, it will not die. No, he might die, so he's still at two wins. I forgot that many times. Uh, got three attacks. 
choose to win. So that's no one dead. Oh. So, <laughs> so we're gonna go into now. Have a look. See if it's gonna go into turn seven. I'll roll for it, or do you want to roll for it, Rich? Oh, I'm rolling for it. All right, please. So show us on one a four you... up, it goes into turn seven. Yep, yeah, shows one of your signatures of ones and twos. So we're gonna go into turn seven. Uh... <laughs> okay, Woo! turn seven. Yeah, great. It's got to that stage, guys. <laughs> yeah. We're at turn seven. It ends after this. I'm fishing for one more kill point to uh, Yeah, yeah. Like, just make you it you done, actually so. can't get enough kill points no, in. Just to make, just to make the, this, this defeat less... I don't know. Horrible? Anyway, yeah. this conga line here has moved up and the Heldrake over there um, moved to stay on the table so I don't lose that victory point. Sure. I've got no shooting. Surprise. Um, I'm just going to go straight into my charge. Cool for this is an, a nine-inch charge. If he gets in, I could potentially get another kill point. Oh, that's unfortunate. Work. Congratulations, Ross. <laughs> yeah, you're calling it. You're calling calling it. it. There's no point. Yeah. There. <laughs> well done. Yeah, that was uh, Karn. Really did well there, but uh, oof. yeah, no, not mobile enough. Yep, so... <laughs> there you have it, guys! That happens. Uh, yeah, solid Death Guard victory. Woo! More than half my victory points, I think, in the end. Uh, yeah, 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 a lot. There was a, few, a there lot. Was a few, but I think they're all generated mainly by Karn. Zombie, zombie, Typhus. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. He's a cool guy. He knows what he's all about. Karn's great, he's not mobile enough. Yeah, that's yeah. a shame. But then again, I'm a space wolf player, I'm not used to mobile. Yeah. <laughs> No, so you're, you're not used to unmobile. Yeah, yeah, that's the correct answer. Cool, so yeah, one major mistake we did make was that your Demon Prince was suffering from unwieldy, but he doesn't. Doesn't, because he's a monstrous he's creature. He's a monstrous creature, so they don't. So, so he would have got attack, but however, I did, mm, you know, cast yeah, a spell on him twice, you which that three can stack. So three attacks. So he probably wouldn't have done much anyway. He may have not, you know, I, I really a little, doubt it. A little bit irksome, perhaps, but nothing. Considering how I was chucking major. out stuff like seven to yeah, ten plus attacks. That was um, a solid, a solid defeat. Yeah. <laughs> Still, you know, it's my first um, game using the world, the world eaters. Sure, sure. Not yeah, the yeah. word bearers. Not the word bearers. Um, and the Traitor Legion's book, obviously. So I'm um, still learning, still wearing my my chaos taint, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it feels good. Either way, <laughs> chaos won today. And that's always a victory. That's always a victory in my eyes. <laughs> So, cool. Thanks again. Uh, please share, like, subscribe, comment. I'm sure there's many mistakes we made. So oh, maybe a few comments. Them when yeah, you go. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you again on our Tabletop Assault Battle Report.